We turn the corner. I see Chase, my ex-boyfriend. Nothing could be worse. I'm freaking out right now. The Bachelor just got about as awkward as The Bachelor can get. Chase Race is my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, on Monday night's episode, Victoria F. went on a one-on-one -on -one date with Peter while her ex-boyfriend, Chase Rice, serenaded them. And let's just say Chase, he's not too happy about it either. I was pissed. I was really pissed off, to be honest. Here's what went down. Victoria F. got the one-on-one -on -one date with Pilot Pete, but totally lost her when she thought they were going skydiving. <gasps> no. Are we skydiving? No, I can't. I'm not kidding. You good? I'm not kidding! Lucky for her, they didn't go skydiving, but they did go for a flight around Cleveland before hitting up an amusement park where they went on a ton of rides, and Victoria F. said no about one million times. No. <gasps> no. 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 Like, I've never seen someone hate a date but pretend to like it more. Well, until this happened. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> you got a little, little concert. <laughs> yep. We turn the corner. I see Chase, my ex-boyfriend. Nothing could be worse. I'm freaking out right now. Buckle up because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> I can't do this. Chase sings for Victoria F. and Peter. Peter dances his sweet little heart out completely unaware of what's going on. And Chase and Victoria exchange some heated looks. He was singing to me and he was like making these faces at me because he told me he didn't want me to come to the show. He didn't want me to come on here. Peter, still blissfully unaware, chats it up with Chase and thanks him for coming out. Then Chase and Victoria have a little chat. Hi. Hey. How's it going? That was good. Um, good concert though. This whole thing makes my skin itchy. Um, just the most awkward thing. Did you not know that, like, you had no idea? I, like, can't even, like, process it. After a lot of tears, Victoria F. confesses to Peter what's going on. Chase and I dated. What? Yeah, well, Victoria says she broke up with Chase because his lifestyle didn't match up with hers, and she wanted to give it a try with Peter. Peter says it's weird, but it's all good, and Victoria gets the rose. Happily ever after, right? Wrong. This is so freaking weird. Chase recently weighed in on the whole thing during a chat with the Fitz in the Morning podcast, and guys, he totally downplayed his connection to Victoria F. I've known her from, uh, we spent a night together in Charlotte. She's a cool chick from what I know of her. Um, oh. You know, I got no problem with her. Um, I got no problem with him. Um, you know, I knew she was going on the show. They spent a night together? Okay, you guys, refresher. Victoria F. said this about their history together. We dated, but I broke it off with him because his lifestyle doesn't really match up to what I want. One plus one does not equal two here, people. I was pissed. I was really pissed off, to be honest. Anyway, Chase said he just wanted to go on the show and promote his music. If there's anything I've ever wanted, it's to have nothing to do with the drama of that show. And even though Chase knew Victoria was on the show, he said he didn't expect to bump into her. I told my uh, manager and my publicist, they're like, don't even worry about that. They're not going to do that to you. Um, that's a weird coincidence, but they're not going to, there's no way they would do that to you. So for them to do that to me, um, it's over the top. It's unnecessary. And he seemingly blamed producers for the whole awkward ordeal. I didn't expect it. Um, but at the end of the day, it, all, it happened. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's the producers or if they just got lucky as hell. I, I know what I think, but I'll <laughs> let everybody else figure out what they think. So now that Chase has dipped his toe in the bachelor pond, would he ever join the show? Not a shot in hell. Unless they paid me a billion dollars, I'd do it for a billion dollars. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Give me a billion and I'll do it. So that's a firm no then. But Peter, he's still all in. This is going to be very difficult for me going forward. 
ET was on the set of The Bachelor before this mess went down, and Peter admitted he was already catching feelings. Just being a few weeks into this, already feeling very strong feelings for some of the ladies. Um, I don't think I expected that, but then again, knowing me, like, I know I fall hard, and I'm okay with that. I think already he can see that, you know, his wife is in this room and he's going to find love here. Will it happen? We don't know. But he's a such he's such a sincere guy. He's truly looking for something and right now all signs are uh, leading to hopefully a happy ending. The Bachelor really is just the gift that keeps on giving. Of course, you can count on ET to bring you all the latest on Peter's season, so make sure to keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. See you soon.